power flow. Her signature? Well, she was a product of Gulbarg's suburban society. This particular day, she was clad in tight jeans and a white cotton kurta. A necklace hung from her neck. Touching her, she had a canvas bag on her shoulder, which probably contained some money, lipstick, tissue paper, a diary, with certain phone numbers and people's birthdays inscribed in it. She probably also had a few expensive pens, which were useless for want of ink. So she borrowed others, ballpoints, to take her notes. Her hair was reddish black and was a place on this glorious October day. She was sitting immediately in front of me, so close that, as I dear, I could have reached out and touched her finely tender hair. But the view of her bodice and her strap through her thin kurta terrified me far more than a loaded gun could have ever had. Aftar was first in the boy's room to introduce himself after Sinisha. He stood up slowly, a replica of American film icons, illuminating rhythmic form. He spoke in a very tone. I am Aftar Pat. And as you already know, I am a graduate of this very college. Professor Suhail removed his glasses and said, Well, your classmates don't. On this, Aftab first looked at the girl's room, then went to the boys like a discus thrower and said, I was the president of student union last year. My majors were psychology and sociology. If I had not been so in love with myself and the movies, I could have probably topped the bachelor's exams but I am not doleful about it. In fact, the girl who got the first position borrowed my notes to study. My reputation, however, is thankfully intact through God's grace and my fear of my parents. The whole class laughed. Someone yelled, self tamper self tamper Introductions continue. After five girls and 15 boys had introduced themselves, the classroom air became musty. With details of names and personal biographies, the class could have ended there as people had started yawning. But Professor Zuhair rose and picked up a piece of chalk from the table. He drew a large-headed, heavily moustached, thin taut, big booted figure on the board. <coughs> then he adorned his figure with square frame glasses, gave him outstretched, beseeching arms and wrote beneath it, Dr. Suhail, I will be teaching you sociology. And that was the whole of my introduction. This comic figure drawing professor was only about five to six years older than us. But at the mastery of a lion trainer with a training whip, hidden somewhere. He never mastered the functional aspects of teaching, but he was a master at mental judo. Ideological wrestling was his favorite sport. And he loved opening his students' skulls and was good at closing them immediately if he found them vacant. In all this aspect, Whatever that's what I wrote from this, the start of this class and the end climax is amazingly interesting. Because once you get to know each other, the all matter of have and to have that thing start from then and there. You must have seen, observed the misery behind the words of Mr. Pilar that I could have become the first. But he was and all. And starting from that, the main character of this novel, Mr. Kajum, is of same mindset. 
he started from there and want to raise up the ladder but without the struggle and the mortal things will so all the means are necessary to achieve any goal but keep your focus on that goal is most important thank you very much